Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content from groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, Angie here. Today we have A-Pink's recent comeback, Self, and the song is called DND. Don't know what that means. Then we have Witcha, Witch Me, Myself, and I, Candy, and I Want to You to Be Happy. So yeah, let's just hop into the video. My bias being the art one. Mm, it's like your hobbies outside of your work, maybe. Oh. I know what it means. Don't. I love that he specifically said 22. Mm. Mm. What a beautiful video. I love she was like dressed in yellow in darkness though. What does DND mean? Dream. I'm trying to read this stuff to see if there's like a. I love the message of the song. Oh. What an encouraging song. Okay, Angie. Okay. Oh, and then she's out it. I am 24 right now, so this is crazy. What did it say? Pull you up 24. I don't know what that means. 24 hours, maybe? Because they meant reference being 22. I'm pretending they meant 24 the age, because that's ironic, isn't it? Wow, what does DD mean, though? I feel like Ong Ong was pretty whiplashy. But I don't know what came before. Un un ung. Un ung. What's that? What's it? Where? How do you pronounce it? What was before? I'm so sick. What was before this? Was only one before I'm so sick. What was the title track for? I don't think I know this song, so I'm probably spoiling it for myself. Okay, yeah. So five before I'm so sick is pretty whiplashy, I would say. And even I'm so sick for Un Un, I think they did have a sudden switch. 
I would say that they did have. I'm not gonna say they have a smooth transition, to be honest, because when I was reacting to their songs, I was like, this one fell out of place for an un un and I'm so sick. But it wasn't like bad. Um, please tell me what DND means, because, or I'll try to look it up while we're listening to the next song, which is called Witch Other. That was good though. I liked it better than their previous title track. Why is that you meet total vibes? Oh, wow, okay, full on this song is freaking. Oh, this show is show. Okay. Um, this person said this. I'm on Reddit trying to see if I can find the meaning. Um, wait, where'd it go? This is so cheerful, and yeah, it still sounds like it fits the better. It fits in better with the latter half of their career than their earlier stuff, and that's exactly what I agree with. It sounds like a classical A Pink, but more mature, which I always hate the phrasing mature as if you can't be cute and mature, but that's exactly how it. And no one knows the meaning, so are we just not gonna. They just didn't tell us? <laughs> this song is a pop. This is definitely one of my favorites of their songs already. Okay, the way she's saying there reminds me of the copycat, like how she's doing the copycat stuff. I love they're all doing this chorus, just like in the ND. I freaking love this instrumental. Who's doing it? Yeah, is it Unji? Is that Unji? Sounds like Unji. Could be Bumi. I think it was Unji. This one would have been a full tap track too. But I like the uh, D&D music video stuff. I think this one would have been more trendy than D&D though. So. Because it kind of reminds me a bit of like MX's comeback and stuff. Like that type of style. What's with the fake lip rings recently? They look ridiculous. It doesn't even suit that concept picture. It's very random. That was one of my favorite. The melody, just the the vibe for that song, is perfect for summer. Like I'm generally love it. Oh my god, what is with this album already? I can already trust them. Like, I trust the group to not just do like a weird random chorus. And a lot of groups would do this intro and then switch very randomly in the chorus. I know they want. Oh, 
Carl and Jay's vocals. Oh my! I'm, after hearing her and Bomi's Sabina mini album single, I'm going to like love Charang's voice so much. It's so beautiful. My queen. Okay. That proof was a bridge. Bridge. Where we at? Proof was a hit. That was part of my favorite song. The way she built that, but it was so lightly. The vocals, man. The way she shook her voice there. This song. <sighs> is perfect. What the fuck is my neighbor doing? Do you hear that? What is happening? Anyways. Wow, one of the... Oh, my queen's ending it. My queen's ending it? Be I can't even explain how beautiful that was. I can't even explain it. It was so perfect. The vocals, the instrumental, the simplicity of it, the message. And it makes sense because the album's called Self. And I was like, oh, this must be loving yourself type vibes. And it's all about yourself. Number two. Okay, this is the one song I was like, not really. The next song is called I Want You to Be Happy, though. Which I think could be for the fans. This is the love song, though. Does Unji not have a solo album? Like, I'm very angry. Why is she not like Taeyeon and IU and stuff? Hmm. Is this her? I think mean, I found- this, this one's fine. It's definitely my least favorite. She does. It came out last year. Why did I not know? Mm -hmm. Someone probably told me, but. But it's like a. I mean. 
it's 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 basically what Joy did. Like a remake of old songs. Oh by the way, I do like this song. It's just the other songs are way better. It's just like a fun song. I pray for you. I mean, the random I pray for you every night is kind of. <laughs> it's something not religious, it just kind of goes, makes me go, uh, but. It's not that deep. <laughs> it was it, it was fine. It was just like a fun song. Is this an old photo shoot? Oh, these are my girls here with the vocals and the ballads. A pink ballads are top tier. Adding my, this a whole album to my playlist. Oh, that's such a cute line. Even if the wave surge in her heart. Pink light. I like that. These are cute little references. Namju? Namju? Namju, really? My girl? That was nice. Now you killed that, by the way. That was beautiful. I like the little references, the little phrasings. I do think not wanting to cry in front of someone and only show your happy face is not good. Um, that's just me dissecting the lyrics too much. Um, beautiful. What a great album. I think I prefer it to their album from... Uh, the, the the horn album a little bit just a little bit but the horn album just had more songs so it's unfair to compare but that is in the last one with Nyan who is my 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 little my little angel so <laughs> my, my bias record so you know I, that album will hold something special no matter what um oh sorry there's like the next video I was gonna film there's this cute picture where, like paused on Felix <laughs> and he's like this 
<laughs> that was really cute. Um, but that is it for this video. My favorite song is definitely, um, I think I heard I Want You To Be Happy, by the way. Was that the one I filmed and never posted? Did I react to it? Because I think it was, um... I did, but that was a year ago. It was for the anniversary. I, I knew that. I was like, it sounded familiar. Um, I did react to it, but it's been a year or so. Um, it's fine. And I don't know if I ever added it to my playlist because sometimes I forget. When it's a single, I usually forget to add it unless it was like a really upbeat type single. Um, but regardless, beautiful song. And I don't think they're doing any promotional things because it's been a few days and I don't see anything. And I know they probably have different filming times. Just let me know if uh, if they did post anything. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.